Welcome back to Frozen Education. This is Ed. Today I'm going to be giving an update on AVGR. My previous DD is in the description below. If you would like to check it out after this video, it will cover the other video will cover uh, diving into companies' products and different catalysts up to come. This one will cover latest news, upcoming catalysts, and as well technical analysis that is updated to date. Please drop a like to this video to make sure this channel grow. Subscribe to get the most out of the, uh, these videos and leave your notifications on for this channel. So let's jump right into it. We're going uh, we're looking here onto an MACD that has been rejected a few times and you get to see that it does go up and down quite a bit. So this kind of decrease in MACD is nothing significant. Volume has increased from the day before, but that's due uh, to the offering news. And I'll refer to that and what that offering news means at the very end. Average directional index does suggest that there's a trend forming here around almost close to 30. Uh, stock price is sitting in a little bit at neutral, very much closer to uh, the not overbought section. So we're looking at a momentum here that has a little bit lost, but it seems that it's going up and down for quite a little. So nothing significant there. The stock is within the trading action zone between the 10 SMA and the 30 MA, where reverses are likely. So it's coming in from the top, so we can actually see a positive reversal. Stock price is above the 50 SMA, so that's still bullish, but under the 200 SMA, so those two cancel themselves out. 10 SMA is above 30 MA, so that's still considered bullish. Now moving on towards the one hour interval, and what we get to see here is an MACD that got basically uh, a negative reversal later on in the evening, and that was mainly due to an offering news, and I'll refer this again to that later. Uh, stock price has dipped under the 50 SMA, but recovered really nicely and is sitting currently very close to the 50 SMA, so it's up and down on there. Uh, stock price is above the 200 SMA, so it's still bullish. Um, very close to the VWAP, so that doesn't mean much to me. Uh, the 10 SMA is curving up, but as of the moment, the 30 MA is above the 10 SMA, which is bearish, but it's curving up at a really good rate that I might actually reverse that early on in the morning. <coughs> ADX shows a little bit more of a sloppy movement, and we get to look at a William percent R that is sitting in a little bit towards more neutral than overbought during the day, but it was oversold in the morning. Momentum seems to be actually fixing itself up and MACD seems to have had a reversal around 2 p.m. But heading towards the positive side. In terms of the unbalanced volume, you get to see a really massive increase that got brought by this discount. Um, and you get to see that it's sitting in almost 40 million compared to 20 million or sorry, 18 million early on in the day. Now moving on towards moving averages and you get to see that this stock here moving average is in the scene with the purple in the middle is trading in the upper band between uh, 0.4 or sorry yeah 0.4 and to the top of 0.44 um, and it has the potential to go above it as it has done before now the unbalanced volume from the day before went from 60 million to 17 million then did bounce back on the one hour scale now this is the actual Fibonacci retracements from the last time I haven't changed it much um, we're looking currently at a technical resistance slash support at 0.45. It's currently sitting around there and it looks like it's actually seeing it as a resistance currently. You might see it jump back and forth, but it seems to be actually doing that between 0.44 and between 47. So um, <clears throat> we're looking as well at a, another support at 0.44 and then we're looking another one at 0.43 and then we're looking at another Fibonacci support at 0.42 and then we're looking beyond that somewhere around 0.4 and then 0.39 and then a 0.37 now it comes into resistance we're seeing a resistance around 0.47 here and then another one on a fibonacci retracement of 0.49 and then above that a 0.5 and then 0.51 uh, uh quite a room to grow here now in terms of the trend line uh the trend line has got broken by this news here that i'm going to cover in a second and then we're going to share how i'll play this stock so going on, um, so the latest out of news will be coming in from yesterday, which was the Form 424B. Um, the Form 424B suggested that there is offering. There wasn't any kind of price attached to that offering. Uh, not that I've seen, but I've seen around the 0.38 mark being set up. Um, and that actually came in today, uh, just around, I believe, 10, 15 minutes ago, where we're seeing a 0.38 Per share of common stock uh, sitting at, I uh, believe this one is going to close on August 6th. So this is the 8th. Oh, so let me just refresh quickly and get you the 8K form. The 8K form here does suggest that it's going to close on August 7th. Um, and it's filed in on August 4th. But here's a different catch that I did notice in terms of the writing for this. So even though they're actually issuing out 
um, sorry, even though they're selling shares, what it actually looks like here is that it says that it's not very much of a dilutive one. Uh, it's just basically basically selling shares. And what it says here is the aggregate market value for common stock held by non-affiliate pursuant to general inst instructions IB6 off form S3 is approximately 34.7 million, which was calculated on uh, based on 54.18 million uh, shares of our standing held by non-affiliates on July 27th at a price share of 0.64. The closing, okay, so etc. 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 And what I've, what I understand from this one here is it's a little bit different than issuing uh, extra shares, from my understanding. So even though they're saying here we're registering the offer of sales for shares of a common stock, I don't see language on offering new shares. And I might be wrong in this, so please share your opinion down in the comments below. But from my understanding, is that they're not issuing new shares, and thus it's not dilutive. But of course, there's going to be more of a panic sell. Uh, it did as soon as that news came out it did actually drop from around 0.46 down to 0.44 and as i said it's recovering between 0.46 and 45 right now it's hovering back and forth but uh how would i play the stock um i definitely want to see what happens tomorrow if it does actually hold and people don't panic thinking that this is new news in terms of the offering that people knew about there was a, already a panic selling happening in the morning around 4 a.m that dipped this price around point 37 cents and it did recover nicely around 20 percent above uh now what i would like to see and what i'm actually seeing so far in the first 30 minutes of that new news coming out well it's not really news we already know about it uh that there's not a lot of panic selling except going in a little bit forth and it seems to have already recovered so i believe that news is kind of priced in but how would i play it so it's definitely if you're in it i'll definitely hold until very much at least early on in August 6th to see uh, what kind of movement it has and could be possible a better recovery than this. Um, and if I see it actually dip uh, or hold the 0.45 support really nicely and it doesn't cross over, I'll consider buying. A really nice support to buy in that I would like to get it at is 0.44 uh, if you miss that kind of dip. Um, but definitely this one, if, if it somehow dips below 40s, which I kind of really doubt it, uh, it's definitely a buy for me. Uh, what do you think about the sticker? Make sure you mention down in the comments below. Share, subscribe, and like, and you have a wonderful day.